So we're going to start off this session by talking about zero hour contracts and we're going to understand what they are and also just explore why they have had such a bad press over the time. And we're talking about alternative forms of employment. So the next thing we're going to do is look at employment status. We're going to explore the difference between an employee, worker and self-employed. And to do that, we're going to look at some recent case law. We're going to not only talk about the cases, but we're going to pull out the key points that determined why individuals in these particular cases were given a label of employee, worker or self-employed. And then we're going to gather that information together and look at the two tests that the Employment Tribunal applies, the mutual obligation test and the multiple test, to determine if somebody is an employee. Now, let's look at it, three more cases relating to employment status before we draw it all together and, and look at the tests that the Employment Tribunal applies. Now we have another taxi case, this time Johnson versus Transopco Limited 2022. And Johnson was a taxi driver. He ran his own business um, very successfully. Uh, but he registered for on the Transopco's My Taxi app to get additional journeys, in effect, through the My Taxi app. And as an example, between the dates of April 2017 and 2018, he did 282 trips. Do be careful with specific dates. If you're putting a specific date in, also have the flexibility to give notice that the contract's going to end earlier if the work ends earlier. Uh, otherwise, legally, you're obliged to pay until the date that you've said that the contract exists. And somebody who is on a fixed term contract must not receive less favourable treatment because they're on a fixed term contract. 